Alright everybody, uh, today is day two of Tarpon Recon. So I'm on the Gulf side now. Basically got Key West over there. I'm hitting the uh, the last set of islands along the Gulf backcountry all along. I'm going to hit these four here. Uh, predominantly what I'm looking for is uh, mullet. If the pilchard's around that's good, but primarily just the mullet. And then I'm going to go through and start hitting some of these connecting channels. Just taking a look for some rolling fish, um, checking these flats, looking for uh, big deep bodies swimming around, and just see if I could find any discernible patterns. Uh, outside of that, then I'll head to where the uh, it dumps into the Gulf in those outlets. Just hang around there a little bit, take a look around. A lot of just spot checking stuff. Um, I haven't been out here, what, two weeks now? And then we've already had a couple of storm uh, passing through big wind so it always changes it up the, uh, as you can see the water is still dusty um, usually it would be crystal clear but uh, it's just just starting to settle so this is the second semi calm day of uh, wind first fairly nice day so uh, by tomorrow it should be crystal clear the fish should come back in and everything will be back to normal again uh, so we're going to just check it out and see if it's worthwhile to come back right away. Uh, most of these islands all have a backside where it's going to have a deep cut. And these are kinds of areas I'm just searching out, seeing what's hanging around. So you can see all the mullet. Schools and schools of mullet. Whole thing surrounding me. Drop anchor here real quick. telltale signs you can see the mullet mud but if you watch you can see the ripples in the water being erratic and then that's where you know that it's a school of mullet and I was talking to a guy yesterday and he was saying yeah I'm trying to chase the mullet I just couldn't get them they just stayed out of distance and I was trying to explain to him that's the problem you don't want to chase mullet chasing mullet is futile <laughs> what you want to do is set up and have them come to you or just get to the point where you're very upwind and you drift them to them on your own without uh, having to pedal, paddle, push, anything because that will just scare them off. And we got our bait. Demolit. I'll just get a couple more should be enough and I should be able to find them easy enough everywhere so not a big deal and there we go so more than I need five foot net perfect that's one big boy there Great tip uh, right after you catch them really uh, pump that uh, water in there just keep dumping and dumping and dumping that initial part they're gonna be hyperventilating all excited uh, using up a lot of oxygen so you just want to make sure that initial shock period they recover from it and then after that they'll settle down and then you don't have to keep dumping as often so all these green blue water is all the channels that cut through and attach all these islands so these are the fish freeways there's our bait set up. Got the uh, Shimano Torium. Got my eight and a half foot uh, noodle rod. Seven out circle hooks. Nice little mullet. Send that boy on his way. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it. Wrong species is getting them. I'll let them run with it. Oh, uh, that was the end of that bait. Oh, 
fast as it, things work. Two seconds, I'm gonna need more mullet if it's gonna go that fast. See the bend on that noodle rod. Nice, easy, constant pressure. So I don't have to do really anything, just hold on to it and it, it absorbs all the bounces. Again. <laughs> one mullet, one big damn jack. All right, victim number two. Let's see if this can last more than like two seconds. if he got eaten or not. Oh, no. I think he's still swimming out there. Either that or hook came off. Oh, no. They ate. No, he's still alive. Uh-oh. Not anymore. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm hoping it's not that shark, and then I'm hoping that shark doesn't eat whatever this is. Oh no. I think we need to go follow it. Alright. Now I can find it. What a save. Get your ass up now. Oh, yep. Damn shark. Uh. All right. Okay, this is a good lead-in for my next video because what I'm going to do next is break them off. So, 
how do, how long does it take for a hook to come out or fall out or rust out of a fish's mouth in salt water? All right, we're free drifting, so let's see how long this one takes. Uh-oh. Mr. Bait's getting stalked by a big brown creature. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, I think Mr. Brown Creature has got it. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> Another brown creature. Ah, oh, still on? Yeah. Uh oh. What the hell? Angry brown creature. Very angry. Oh, shit, don't go under. Ah, oh, you lucky bastard. So I just realized after about a half an hour that I was missing my stakeout pole. Damn it. Baby be gone. And if I lost it on the channel, it's halfway to Texas. So another $25 out of the hookers and cocaine fund. Do a little bit of shore fishing. I just need to stay just out of range where a shark can come up and take me. Fish on. Oh, fish on. No, fish on. Oh, fish off. Damn it. And took the tail, of course. This is why the back country is my favorite place to come around. Especially if you come in the evening, everybody's gone. It's quiet. And when it's low like this, you can see everything, how it all lays out. Well, I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, I found out the bait's there. Half my spots had uh, bait in it, so that makes it convenient. Um, didn't see any tarpon rolling whatsoever. But then again, it was the middle of the day. I need to go on either end, either early morning or real late at night generally, and just kind of shift my uh, fishing times. But uh, as long as I know that stuff is there, my access points are good, uh, I think I'm good to go. Uh, you got to see how good of a bait live mullet is. So when it's here, stuff starts feeding. Um, give another day or two for this water to clean up. I might try some spots up the Keys a bit. Uh, I have a few spots up there. So as they're migrating down this side, uh, I might run into them a little earlier rather than waiting around. But we'll see what happens. But anyways, uh, rest in peace my uh, pole anchor. I'm going to go home early and order a new one. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.